Hello lovely, this is Just Veg Network TV, a home of accurate news and current news. For those who subscribe to our channel, God bless you for doing so. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you are yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Awaneze Indigo urges Buhari to ascent to Southeast Development Commission Bill. Owaneze, the apex Igbo social cultural group in Nigeria that represents all Igbo community within and outside Nigeria, has urged President Muhammad Buhari to give assent to Southeast Development Commission passed by the 8th National Assembly. According to the Igbo Social Cultural Organization, the presidential assent to the bill and establishment of the Southeast Development Commission would not only rehabilitate resuscitate and propel development in the civil war ravage southeast zone of Nigeria, but would enhance the economic revival of the entire country. The bill sought to establish the Southeast Development Commission to serve as a catalyst to develop the commercial potentials of the Southeast, receive and manage funds from allocations of the Federation for the Rehabilitation Construction reparation for houses and lost business of victims of the civil war and address any other environmental or developmental challenges. The commission was established would be funded by 15% of the federation allocation from states within the region. Habia, Anabra, Emboi, Enugu and Imo State shall, among other things, formulate policies and guidelines for the development of the Southeast region. It will, among others, conceive, plan and implement in accordance with the set rules and regulations, projects and programs for the sustainable development of the Southeast in the field of roads, education, health, facilities, employment, water supply, electricity and commerce tackle ecological and environmental problems that arise from the soil er erosion problems and other environmental challenges in the Southeast and advise Federation government and member states on the prevention and control of the erosion and environmental challenges. Identify factors in beating the development of the Southeast and assist the member states in the formulation and implementation of the resources, resources of the Southeast. The enactment of the Southeast Development Commission Bill target to rebuild the Southeast and provide opportunity for the people to display their talent and contribute immensely to the development of the country. Proponents of the bill content contended that it is sequel to the near failure of reconciliation, reconstruction and rehabilitation, which is the three house of the Southeast to reintegrate the people captured in the then head of state, Yakubu Gowon, declaration of no victor, no vanquished, at the end of the civil war. However, since the bill was passed about six months ago, it has not conceived presidential assent to make it an establishment hat for Southeast Development Commission. Similar to the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, and recently the North East Development Commission. Reacting to this development, John Iwondo, President General Owaneze Indigo, called on the President Buhari to demonstrate his oath of office and his declaration at the first inauguration that he belongs to everyone and belongs to no one by putting his pen on that bill. Wondo exclusively told the bid Sunday that the Southeast is the most ravaged area of Nigeria as a result of the civil war during which the infrastructure in the zone was completely destroyed. And since the end of the war, little or nothing has been done about that. But with such commission, the situation could be addressed. He said as a zone which contributes significantly to the gross domestic product GDP of the countries and the economy gradually south deserved the same treatment such as the one given to the northeast which apart from taking a chunk of the country's defense budget has a commission established by rehabilitate 
and reintegrate areas affected by the Boko Haram insurgency. No serious highway is in the southeast. As I speak to you, Enugu Onicha Road is not motorable. Onicha to Oweri is not motorable. Enugu Portal Court is not motorable. The density of traffic in southeast is the highest in the country. The southeast seaports are still in the drawing stage. Nobody has given them federal attentions. The railway line from Portal Court through Enugu, Makodi, Maduguri is still at the stage. It was at the end of the war. There is no real connection to Onicha, the biggest market in West Africa. There is none to Abakaliki, the food basin of the southeast. The southeast is completely landlocked. It has no sea outlet. The commerce in the southeast is second only to Lagos and Kano in terms of its contribution to the GDP, if not more. If there is any bill that can contribute to the growth of the nation for special attention to be given to, it is the southeast. We are also an oil producing area. There are hoys and gas reserves in Nanabra, Himo, Enugu, Abia. Our coal has become comatose and coal drive this country development in transport and foreign earnings, and it has been uncompensated by Nigeria up to today. The Higbo leader stated. Meanwhile, there are fears that the South East Development Commission bill may not get assent or may be sent back to the Ninth National Assembly for reconsideration. Credible sources confided in BD Sunday that the presidency would certainly send the bill back to the National Assembly and it may be eventually killed as it was done in the, in the House of Representatives in 2017. The bill was killed in the House of Representatives in 2017 and almost two years after, Senate reintroduced and passed and only sent to the House of Representatives for co-currents in line with Nigerians by camera legislature practice. Before the, re, before the co-currents, the co there was a fierce debate that almost turned the house apart along regional and party lines as azan shakario from cardona state not in support of the bill warned against duplicity and wanton creations of commissions hence if not checked can become a demand from her geopolitical zones if we continue like this very soon we will have commission for every zone my take is that we should find a way of taking care of these anomalies like these so that we don't end up setting commissions for issues that we can prevent, he said. Also, Aminu Suleiman from Kano State hacks the house to kill the bill, recalling that it, it, can be, it had been rejected by the house in 2017 and it does not matter where it emanated from the Senate. This bill was brought before this chamber and it was debated through. It was stepped down. I do understand we should look at bill on the thorough objectives of bill. I would want to plead without any sentiment that this bill should not go, Suleiman argued. Wow. So viewers today, what do you think about this? Thing? What is your own take about what Ohane, the president, has been was saying about the Hebrew land because obviously Nigerian government they are really cheating these people. Let's just be sincere to ourselves. Let's come out into reality right now. Nigerian government they are cheating the Hebrews. Number one, looking at their roads, it's very bad. I could actually say that one of the places, one of the cities that are bad out of the out of the tribes that i know the higbo the east the 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 uh, the Awusas, i could actually say that mostly the higbo land because i believe that the nigerian government they are not really doing much as far as the igbo community is concerned i could actually say that they are really cheating them that is me. That is me. Because I, at least I have relatives there that I know that at least they have people. I have people around the Hebrew land. 
Trust me, Nigeria government, they need to, to renovate. They need to reconstruct this, this, the Higo land. They need to, not only the Hausa people alone. Our Mr. Muhammad Upawari should not see it as if, oh, it's coming from the north. Oh, it is the only north, that, it, 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 it is the only place that needs to be reconstructed. No. The Igbo land too needs to be reconstructed. They needs to be reconstructed. How on earth you still see some road that is not motorable? You can imagine that. The, the, the man was saying that no serious highway is in the southeast. Wow. And he was saying that Enugu Onicha Road is not motorable. Onicha to Oweri is not motorable. Enugu Portakot is not motorable. That is so bad. And what is this Nigeria government doing about it? Nothing. It was saying that the density of traffic in Southeast is the highest in the country. The Southeast seaport are still in the drawing stage. Nobody has given them federal attention. That is so unfair. That is so unfair. And they've been tendering this appeal like... For so long, they rejected it in 2017, and now they are trying to reject it again. I believe the Hebrews, they have been cheated. They have been cheated. And that is what we are saying, oh, that's why. When you go to the north side, you feel like, wow, they really developed the north. Despite that, they are less educated. Many of them, they don't really go to school. But when you go to the north side, you will feel like, oh, this is so nice. Even the road and everywhere compared to the Yorubas and the Hebrews. And that is just so unfair to the rest of the tribes too. It's so unfair to me. It's so unfair. So viewers today, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. And please, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. God bless you so much. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.